room. Who were those commandos you brought home? I didn't bring them, Pop. They followed me. Besides, can I help it if they're a bunch of sore losers? Jackie's right, Mr. Evan. She won the baseball fair and square, I think. Well, they don't tell me you're mixed up in this, too. He was the umpire, Pop, and the score was tied at 17-0. Only it wasn't, because I was safe. Wait a minute. Willie, you'd better tell me what happened. Uh, well, Mr. Evan, it was in the ninth inning. The pitcher tossed Jackie a fastball right down the middle. <laughs> Jackie hit the ground. Went right over the shoulder stops here. For a triple, she tried to stretch it into a home run and had to slide home safe. I mean, uh, And that made the score 18-17, and we won the ball game. Only the other team kind of took exemption the way I called a decision. Do what happened? The same thing that happened last week, the week before, and the week before that. Jackie and her roughneck friends passed through. Only this time, she's not going to get away with it. Willie, you'd better leave. Yes. I'd better go, too. Not until we get a few things straightened out. There's going to be a new regime around here. Jackie, you're 13 years old, a young lady, and as of this minute, you're going to start acting like one. Gee, Pop, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Always, I'm sorry. Well, this time, you're going to be more than just sorry. You have to start changing, and that's an ultimatum. OK, I'll try, but it isn't going to be easy. You can start practicing by cleaning up this mess. And to make sure that nothing goes wrong, I'm going to sit right in this chair. Pop, no! The uh, furniture glue is in the garage. I'm afraid she has a long way to go. Not if we handle it right. Now that she's willing to try, all that we have to have is a little patience. That's all. <laughs> patience, June. Patience! Good afternoon, Mr. Irwin. Is Jackie home? Yes, Susie. Come in. Hello, Susie. Jackie's upstairs. Thank you, Mrs. Irwin. Could I wait in the living room? Why, certainly. I'll call her. Now, there's a perfect little lady. Jackie should see more of her. She'd be a wonderful influence. Jackie! Your friend Susie is here. I'll be down right away. Jackie. Good afternoon, Susan. Hi, Jackie. I just stopped by to tell you about the party tonight. What do you mean, party? We were supposed to see that baseball picture. But my cousin Charlie just got in from Centerville. We're going to entertain him instead. We'll get all dressed up and play records and dance. I don't want to get dressed up. And I don't like to dance. I'm going to the movies. But I've already invited four boys. If you don't come, there won't be enough girls to go around. I don't care. I'm not going to any drippy old party just because you got a cousin Charlie. Sure. She'll ruin everything. 
anything. I'll have to dance with Charlie all night. And Freddie won't talk to me for a month. Don't worry, Susie. She'll be there. After all, they had a date, and it's a moral obligation. Moral obligation. I still think it's a dirty trick. Your father is perfectly right, Jackie. You couldn't let Susan down. Besides, you ought to see more of her. She's a nice girl. She's a rotten second baseman. There are other things in this world besides baseball. You look lovely. Not from this side. Look, it doesn't even fit. It fit when you wore it last Sunday. I've grown since then. Well, not that much. Now walk around, let me see how the hemline falls. It's no use, Mom, I can't go. My shoes don't fit. You wore those Sunday, too. Quit faking. Something must be wrong, I feel terrible. I can't swallow. Maybe it's my tonsils, look. Jackie, your tonsils were taken out five years ago. They could have grown back. I tell you, I'm really sick. Oh. You have no temperature. That's because I'm freezing to death. I ought to go straight to bed. I even see spots in front of my eyes. It's growing dark. What are you doing? I'm coming down with some terrible disease, Pop. Maybe it's pneumonia. <coughs> or even the mumps. <laughs> a bad case of stage fright. I know just what you're going through, darling. I felt the same way the first time I went to a party with boys. But you're different, Mom. You always know how to act and what to say. Not in the beginning. I was so scared I didn't talk at all. I just listened. Then it sure worked. You're just trying to make me feel better. But I don't. I'll tell you what. Why not go and see how it is? And then, if you're not happy, by... You mean if I don't like it, I can come back and still get to go to the movie? Jackie, you'll have to grow up sometime. You may as well start now. I don't want to see you back here until the party's over. The way I feel, I may never come back. <laughs> the last mile. <laughs> Mr. Evans' residence. Who? Oh, Susie. No, Jackie left about 10 minutes ago. I'll check it right away. Who is it, Willie? Uh, somebody, uh, wrong number. Somebody wants the missing person's bill. <laughs> Jackie. Why, well, I thought you'd be on your third glass of fruit punch by now. I'd rather have a glass of arsenic. Susan just phoned, and if you don't show up pretty soon, you're gonna have a lot of tall explaining to do in a short time. All I want is to be left alone. It so lives, your father don't exactly see it like that. And they call this a democracy? Willie, what am I gonna do? Well, now, this is gonna call for a conference. On a strategic level. Now, let me think. I got it. Yeah? No, that wouldn't be fair. Oh. Well, how about the... Uh... No, that wouldn't be ethical either. You know, this thinking is tougher than I thought. You know, I'm almost tempted to run away. Oh, no, you can't do that. You got a pitch tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. If I don't show up at that party, Pop will never let me play. Let's face it, Jackie. You got to make a supreme sacrifice for the good of the team. After all, you got to be a... I know, Willie. It's another moral obligation. Good night, Willie. Good night. This is going to be a long night in. Well, she seems to be sticking it out to the bitter end. Don't look at me like that. I'm not Simon Legree. I didn't send little Jackie out into the snow alone. We both agreed it would be the best thing for her. Do you want her to remain a tomboy all her life and end up a lady wrestler or something? No, but I don't want her to be miserable either, like I was at my first party. I felt awful. It took me weeks to get over it. We shouldn't have forced her to go. I'll take all the blame, June. 
But with Joyce away at college, getting her in with Susie's crowd seemed to be the best way to help her grow up. It's too late to do anything about it now. We can try. When she comes home, let's make an occasion out of the rest of the evening. So at least she'll have some happy memories of tonight. But it'll be so late. Well, I'm not going to have her going to bed in tears. We can play those cowboy records she likes, catch the rest of the baseball on television, and have night. She's coming now, Stu. Hurry. Yeah. Dressed, had breakfast, and pitched three innings for this time. You were right, Stu. That party seems to have done wonders for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Good morning, Pop. Hi, Mom. Jackie, what have you done to your hair? I'm curling it. Charlie doesn't think a girl my age should wear braids. Well, you may have a point. Charlie? You know, Susie's cousin. Mom, do you think you could press this dress for me? I want to look nice for Charlie. I suppose so, dear. And could I borrow your jade earrings? Charlie thinks I'm the oriental type. Yes, Charlie seems to have a lot of definite opinions. Well, he's 15. Can I, Mom? Of course. You're a dream. Jackie, you haven't had your breakfast. Oh, I can't stop now, Mom. I have to go down to Mr. Ananelli's shop so he can make these heels higher. Charlie thinks I'm too short. Jackie, come here. I hate to throw you off your schedule, but could you slow down long enough to let us know why you're rushing around like this? Oh, didn't I tell you? <laughs> Charlie's taking me to the baseball picture tonight. You sure gave me the right dope, Mom. Charlie says a girl doesn't have to talk, as long as she's got expressive eyes. Well, that Charlie seems to have made quite an impression. Yeah. What's the matter, dear? Isn't that what you wanted? Jackie's growing up. But overnight, it's too fast. After all, she's practically a child. Yesterday, she was practically an old maid lady wrestler. What's really bothering you? Well, who is this Charlie? What do we know about him, outside of the fact that he's an authority on the adolescent female? He's the Parker's nephew. That's good enough for me. You couldn't ask for a finer family. Casanova came from a fine family, too. And he matured at a very early age. You haven't even met the boy. You can't condemn him just because he's taken an interest in Jackie. It so happens that I've had an interest in Jackie for 13 years. And no Tom, Dick, or Charlie is going to take her out until I've given him a good once-over. You don't get so excited. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, me excited? For your information, Mrs. Irwin, I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> your coffee's too sweet. <laughs> Good morning, Willie. All set to go? I sure am. But, Jackie, the ball for you is this way. You'll have to pitch for me today, Willie. I have to get glamorized for tonight. They're not going to make you go to another party? No. This was my idea. Love is bigger than all of us. Here it comes. Now, Stu, remember, give him a fair chance. Oh, sure. Are you Mr. Irwin? I have been for several years. Come in, Charlie. Thank you. You must be Mrs. Irwin. Gee, you look just like Jackie. Why, well, that's a very nice compliment. Won't you sit down? I <laughs> thank you, Charlie. You're quite the gentleman. Jackie won't be down for a few minutes, so we may as well get acquainted. As I was saying, I always like to know something about the boys who take out my daughters. I don't blame you, Mr. Irwin. And I feel the same way about getting to know the fathers. The fathers? Sure. 
Nowadays, you gotta be careful. A fella can't take out just any Jane, Jean, or Jackie. What's wrong with Jackie? Oh, nothing. She's swell. But I don't mind telling you now. At first, I was afraid to take her out. Afraid? She's a principal's daughter. And you know how most principals are always asking questions. By the time the grilling's over, it's usually too late to go anywhere. Now, just a minute, Charlie. I don't mean you, Mr. Irwin. Any father of Jackie's is okay by me. <laughs> well, uh... Thank you. Announcing Miss Jacqueline Irving. Not so fast, young lady. Uh, Charlie and I were having a little talk. But, Father, if we don't hurry, we'll miss the first show. Uh, you know, uh, I just had a brainstorm. That sounds like a good movie. June, why don't we join the kids and all go together, huh? Oh, no, Stu, I couldn't. I'm too tired. All I want is a nice, quiet evening at home. Good idea. We'll all stay home. We'll get out those cowboy records, whip up a few ice cream sundaes, see the ball game on television, and have a great time. But, Father, we promised to meet Susie and her boyfriend. It's a moral obligation. <laughs> Madame, your chariot awaits without. Uh, Say, I sure enjoyed that little talk we had, Mr. Irwin. Bye. Uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> I think she has excellent taste. He's a perfect gentleman. Well, I don't trust him. It's not natural for a kid his age to be that perfect. I have a good mind to follow them. You do no such thing. You're my day tonight. On. Eleven fifteen. First show is over. Ten twenty-seven. It's a long ride home. That's what I'm afraid of. Will you stop acting like an old mother hen? Nothing's going to happen. Here, sit down and look at a magazine or something. Oh, all right. I, uh, I think I could use some ice cream. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll get some for both of them. No, 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 no. Don't bother. I'll get it. I looked in every room. I didn't see a sign of them. Uh-oh. And just what have you been up to? If you must know, I sent Willie to check the movie. They never showed up. What do you think of your gentleman, Charlie, now? I still think there's nothing to worry about. Oh. Here with Susie, and you said yourself she's a good influence. Where could they possibly be? Well, let me see. I got it. Why did you take Mrs. Irving on your first date? Moonlight Point. Oh, Stu, no. We were much older. Well, Mr. Irving has been pushing Jackie to grow up. That settles it. I'm going up to Moonlight Point. Come on, Willie. Stu, haven't you any faith in your own daughter? I just don't have any faith in Charlie. <laughs> You go ahead, Willie. I'll get the flashlight. Yes. Jackie, are you up here? Jackie? 
Jackie? Jackie? Oh, excuse me. Has you folks seen Jackie Irvin up here? Are you sure now? If she leaves before you see her, will you tell her not to go till I get back? Jackie in there? Either you girls named Jackie? And Tom. Hey, Eddie. What's up? There's a wise guy sneaking around here. Spread the word. Hi, Jake. <laughs> hey, Pete. Remember, I get first crack at him. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen her? I think it's a wild goose chase. Jackie wouldn't be up here. Oh, no? Look. Charlie's car. I'll teach that Casanova a lesson he'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Susie, what are you doing here? Wait a minute, boys. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, look, look, a gentleman put me down. Oh, you bad. Bad. Stop it, Mr. Earl. The principal. <laughs> well, I got to hand it to you. You sure scared everybody off. They put the car away. Yeah. Now you see, you gotta watch that control, Jackie. A knuckle is no good if you can't get it over the plate. Jackie, where have you been all night? At the ball game. There were no seats left at the movies. Well, there were plenty at Moonlight Point. I saw your car up there. But I loaned it to Susie and Freddie. We didn't go with them. They came back by bus right after you left. Charlie's teaching her how to pitch. At this time of night? That's <laughs> part of the deal, Mr. Irwin. Before I could get Jackie to go out with me, I had to promise to teach her how to throw a knuckleball. Oh. <laughs> and all the while, I thought it was romance. I don't think we're going to have to worry about that for a long while. You hear that? Sounds like it's coming from Jackie's room. Yeah. Just have to face it. That boy Charlie sure has a lot on the ball. 